I did my PhD at uh, Tel Aviv University, and then I moved on for my uh, postdoc training at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. And about a year ago, I moved back to Israel to start my own lab uh, to study microbial pathogenesis and immunology at the Koret School of Veterinary Medicine at the Hebrew University Faculty of Agriculture, Food Sciences and Environment. My group studies virulence mechanisms of eukaryotic pathogens and specifically we focus on fungal pathogens of animals, humans and plants. People inhale pathogenic fungi every day and nearly 2 million people die of lethal fungal infections every year. This mortality rate outcases malaria and breast cancer and is comparable with that of tuberculosis and HIV. This number is also compounded by climate change and immunosuppressive medicine. A very timely example are the staggering numbers of fungal infections in COVID patients that were given steroids to treat the viral infection. But the trade-off is actually a deadly fungal infection with a mortality rate of about 60% compared with only 0.1% for COVID patients. And of course, fungal infections are not unique to humans. No one can escape fungal infections and they infect everything. There's a silent pandemic right now with the spread of multidrug resistance in fungal pathogens, which really threatens the effectiveness of our very limited arsenal of antifungals. Fungal pathogens present a bigger challenge to that of bacterial pathogens because they are eukaryotic and share significant similarities with their hosts. And this similarity greatly complicates the task of identifying selective drugs that kill the fungus without harming the person, animal or plant infected with it. For this reason, the available antifungal drugs are limited in number and diversity and infections are very difficult to treat and even worse, fungi rapidly evolve resistance to the drugs that we use to kill them. To address the emergency of multidrug resistance in fungi, my team and I endeavor to answer several most basic and pressing questions like how do fungal cells die, how does our immune system combat them, and how can we use this knowledge to develop novel antifungal treatments? To answer these big questions, we established a system of color-coded fluorescent biosensors that enable us to visualize individual host pathogen encounters in real time during infection. This approach allows us to simultaneously screen hundreds of thousands of genetic elements or drug libraries and determine its action both on the host, the pathogen, and the microbial environment. And it was using this technique that I discovered how our innate immune system triggers a programmed cell death mechanism in fungal cells, uh, making them self-destruct through the activation of designated fungal proteins. But this exciting discovery barely scratches the surface of what we may still learn about the vulnerabilities of pathogenic fungi. And the ongoing projects in the lab are now aimed at identifying additional fungal and host proteins that mediate this process, which we think will be a rich source of drug targets that are not prone to have fungi develop resistance against. Obviously, we are interested in everything fungi, but I think we are a very unique group because we don't limit ourselves to just one environmental system or just one approach. Our scope goes way beyond fungi and introduces ally sciences like ecology, medicine, economics and geology. We have active collaborations with hospitals in Israel and abroad on several clinical projects as well as applicative projects including the design of sprayable antifungals for application in agriculture, in the food industry and also in the clinic including medical devices. And we even teamed up with a geologist to study lichens physiology and environmental functions. I maintain active collaborations with research groups at Memorial Sloan Kettering, UMass and University of Wisconsin. Our studies will advance our understanding of the fascinating biology of fungal pathogens while also impacting the treatment of invasive fungal infections by providing selective targets for the development of much-needed drugs.